It seemed to be aware that we were there. Get inside the government's investigation. Rapidly accelerates beyond anything that I've ever seen. Uncovering what fighter pilots see in our skies. If these things are hostile, then we're screwed. Active duty F-18 pilot Lieutenant Ryan Graves says a fleet of UFOs followed his Navy carrier strike group for months in 2015, up and down the East Coast, coming within 50 miles of the nation's capital. And the reason Lieutenant Graves is speaking out is because he's concerned about his comrades and he's concerned about national security. And he's seeing a system which is failing to react. Chris Mellon is a former Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for Intelligence. If people in the D.C. area knew that within minutes of their location, these unidentified vehicles are operating seemingly without regard to our air defense capabilities, operating at will just minutes from the nation's capital, I think they would say, uh, excuse me, isn't this something we ought to pay attention to? The incidents had disturbed Lieutenant Graves and his fellow pilots. But what happened in the months following would raise the stakes even higher. In March 2015, the Theodore Roosevelt was deployed to the Arabian Gulf, when suddenly, Lieutenant Graves says, the UFOs reappeared. We did have issues with them when we actually went out to the Middle East, not in the transit, but once we actually settled out into the Middle East. Um, when we talked about the visual contact, uh, when it buzzed by, uh, it was very likely that that was stationary and you know we actually buzzed by it because we didn't know it was there so it was likely stationary at that time and it basically split our section when they were in tack wing um so it wasn't like it was trying to merge with us or it was making high speed pass or anything like that it was most likely stationary we just didn't know it was there or this was you know at a time where we weren't even sure if they were real or not it essentially just kind of flew into it um when i say it was following us i don't mean individual aircraft I mean, wherever we were, they were there. So that could mean two things. That could mean they were already there or they were following the strike group, but they weren't following individual aircraft. Um, and of course, at this point, we're, we're like, okay, well, clearly this is nothing that we're used to seeing out there. So we submitted a safety report and saying that there was an unidentified object in our working space and we don't know what to do. Many of these pilots have, have hundreds, if not several thousands of flying hours. It's not in their interest to make this stuff up because professionally it could be very damaging to them. In 2015, Lieutenant Graves and Lieutenant Danny Acoin were training to deploy to the Middle East. What was the first thing you thought when you saw or that actually was like, there is actually something there? The first time you see it on the radar could possibly be a false track, but then when you start to get multiple sensors reading the exact same thing, and then you get to see a display, that solidifies it for me. Again and again, the pilots were capturing bizarre-shaped objects on their F-18's cameras. Two of the videos would be released to the public. One would come to be known as GoFast. The other was called Gimbal. Really no distinct wings, no distinct tail, no distinct exhaust plume, much like you see in the Gimbal video. It seemed like they were aware of our presence because they would actively move around us. I put my career on the line because I believe in what I believe in. He ran the Pentagon's top secret UFO program. They tracked 100 of these things. Leading a team of government insiders. People from the CIA, the Department of Defense. To reveal what they know. I don't really care if it's a threat, it's a threat. Unidentified, Friday, May 31st at 10.